We're at the 2022 Miami International Boat Show. I'm here with TJ Griner, I think is how you say it, from yep. Aguila. He's got a 28 foot ordered himself. We're gonna go through it real quick and uh, tell you why he bought one himself. Such an awesome boat, this uh, 28 Aquila Molokai Cat. Uh, great platform, it's uh, very stable. The boat rides amazing. Uh, I got a lot of features for fishing, a uh, ton of tackle storage. Uh, we do have some jump seats in the back. Uh, to sit. I love the stereo system on the boat. It's got eight speakers, fusion stereo. Sounds amazing. Up on the bow area, my wife loves the, the backrest on the seats here. Great uh, just for cruising out. We have a lot of sandbarring. We'll probably do more sandbar and restaurants than we do fishing. You've got storage for the table right there, which is super nice. And plenty of room because you always need more storage. I mean, you got your ladder stored right there, which is super nice. Nice Mercury's. I like that you got this walk through here. You can get back here. And if you need to, you can get around and gaff fish around these engines so you don't lose fish in your props, which is awesome. I like these fold away seats. You got bolsters in the back. A lot of places don't put bolsters in the back. I don't know why, but I really like it. So I spend a lot of time back here, especially if you're flatlining for mangrove snapper or red snapper or something. I mean, you got tons of storage in this bad boy. The fit and finish on this thing is pretty good. Maybe you can use it a little bit right here. Ray Marine, look at that little LED, I like that. Nice touches for branding. How about that guy? It looks like it must be screwed tight. They don't want me going in there, that's where they put their secret stuff. Taco riggers. This guy's set up for fishing, man, hardcore. The backrests are nice. There's probably a place to store them backrests in there. You got this table, I'm glad that comes out. You can take these off and you can use this as a nice fishing deck right there, which is nice. Same thing here. Got snaps. Let's look at the anchor rod lockers up here. I don't want to mess up their super nice road job. Open it up. Bam. Here guys, here we go. Ooh, look at that. I like it. I like this style. I love the pop-up please. You never know when you trip on those bad boys, especially if you try to come up here and throw a cast net. Those are great. Rod holders. Fusion rod holders. Let's see. We got this guy that pops down. If you're a little bit... If you're not quite as tall as me, you may really like this feature. It pops down. That gives you about, probably about four inches so you can stand up here and get a better look at the waves that are trying to break down on you. Nice bait. I like that the bait well is here. This is where I prefer my, my live bait well to be. And uh, maybe like there'd be like a full down cutting station here so you could cut your bait and then throw it off. That'd be nice. Base spec on the boat is one dual 150 Mercury's. Great option that we're offering right now is dual 200s. We'll be rolling out the 225. And we really focus on this range and efficiency. Adding bigger tanks isn't necessarily the answer. It's really your whole design and how efficient the boat is. Can add up to two 95 gallon tanks. It's got two 75 gallon tanks. Not on our option sheet that just recently came up because he wants to do really extended range. I don't know if you really need bigger fuel tanks necessarily. Most people uh, don't, they just think yeah. they need it. They think they need it. Yeah. If you guys like this video, make sure to check out the sea trial video for this boat right here on your screen. And if you like this video, I'm sure you will like the top five video that's on your screen. Make sure to watch it. Thank you all very, very much for watching and I'll catch you guys on the flip side.